Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from Tusik Internet Solutions, and in this video, I'd like to extend your knowledge about Web API and about HTTP because it's all about the HTTP verbs, also known as the HTTP methods. It's actually a very basic thing about HTTP, but most people never think about this kind of stuff because it just never affects their daily life. Well, in Web API, we're getting a little bit closer to the real internet. And so it's good if you understand this. And here goes. What we're going to look at right now is the following. Understand what the verbs are. See what actually happens on the wire if you change verbs. And look at them with Web API, like server side, and using them in JavaScript, plus some best practices. So very simple. So let's look at it. Um, just briefly, if you look up the HTTP verbs in uh, Wikipedia or something, it'll tell you something that this was defined in HTTP and it's like get, post, head, and things like that. And I'm just going to show you a simple example of the feedback form. If I would do a complete here, then I'm going to tap this. I get the message that we know from the previous video. It's now going to be set to completed. And if we look at this request here inside the, uh, I actually did the refresh already. Here, this is my request. Then you will see that what I'm actually doing here is I'm saying get and this path here with the ID so and so. This means I did an HTTP request with the verb get. Let's um, clear all that and do a delete request. I'm not going to click OK yet to prevent the refresh. So this is my get request and my delete request. And you'll see it says delete this and this path. The idea behind it is that I'm kind of like saying this is a path to my thing, like it could be a JPEG file, and I want to delete it. So the verbs or the HTTP methods say what I want to do, and they pass in parameters. Now, in reality, you could just always use get for all I cared. Um, because the verb doesn't really mean anything what you can send or can't send. It actually just kind of is that first word saying, what is your intention? Are you planning to get this file? Are you planning to delete this file? Are you planning to upload a new file with that name? Technically, you could do all this with, 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 with get requests and just post the file with a get request, but it would just not be clear what you're trying to do. Now, on the server side, let me show you some code now. Here's my feedback controller. And for example, if I am doing the complete, then I am expecting an HTTP GET. I said that in my web API, I want to get. And when I'm doing the delete, I'm saying I am expecting the verb delete. Now, technically, I could, of course, also do a delete with an HTTP GET, but it just wouldn't be nice. So best practice is to use the verb, the word that clarifies your intention. You want to delete, please use delete. You want to retrieve data or just send a simple message like do a delete message, then use a get. That's basically how to do it. So in most cases, you'll be using post or get to like make simple changes to information. Um, here we have an example where we're creating a new content item and here we're using the post. So this is more or less it. Read up on it some more, try it out, and if you're using it on the code side, of course, the JavaScript, you will notice that this is my um, little dashboard, and in one case I'm using webapi.get, feedback complete, and in the other case I'm using webapi delete, feedback delete. So that name there in the JavaScript will determine which verb gets sent along. So very simple. I hope you liked it, and I hope you understand it and can use it for your code. What's in the following videos? We're going to look at security, at routing, and at debugging problems. Because the more you start doing this, you'll see something may not work the first time you try it, and then it's important that I can help you find out how to fix it. This is Daniel Mettler for Tusik Internet Solutions in the DNN community. Thank you for watching.